What if I tell you that these biotechnological breakthroughs were already performed by the gods themselves, as written in the Hindu scriptures? Let me explain. Let's start with surrogacy. Devaki and Vasudeva were imprisoned by Kanch, who killed six of their offspring. But when the seventh child was conceived, the gods intervened. They transferred the fetus from Devaki's womb to the womb of Rohini, Vasudeva's other wife, who lived far away from the prison. Cloning might seem like a modern-day concept, but did you know that the Kaurava brothers from the Mahabharata were born from a mass of flesh that was divided into 100 parts? Rishi Vyasa then treated them with herbs and ghee and kept them in pots for two years, from which 100 living beings came into existence. When Shiva cut off the head of Parvati's son, Ganesha, she demanded his life be restored. Brahma brought back the head of a strong and powerful elephant, and Shiva fixed it onto Ganesha's body. This process is known as xenotransplantation. Hinduism is full of instances of cell regeneration, where gods and demons regenerate their body parts after being chopped off. Finally, genetic engineering. When Sati, wife of Shiva, died after being insulted by her father Daksha, Shiva plucked a lock of his hair and thrashed it to the ground. From that hair, Virabhadra was born, a dark creature with three burning eyes, fiery hair, and a necklace of skulls. 